use my um, iPad once to show me how to get it. She says selling live now, it says. What? We're selling live? What are we going to sell? I don't know. I don't want to cast it on my TV. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, we're trying to, get, trying to get our iPads connected, and Facebook wants to go to our TVs, and we're not home. <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? Are you excited? Because we have some fun stuff to show you today. We do. I'm excited. Mary, Barbara, Karen, Darcy. Morning, morning, Karen. If I just said morning to Karen, I'd probably cover half the people. <laughs> we have a lot of Karens. Yeah. We mean that in the oh, nicest way. Yes, look, there's yes. our third one. Hi, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody have any guesses as to what our uh, new Michigan product is that we're going to show you? Because we're excited about it. Oh, there's another Karen. Yay. Hi, Marie. Hi, Susan. Good morning, good morning. Everyone got their coffee? Or their Diet Pepsi, or their, or, yeah, their or their water, or their or their yeah. Dr Pepper Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary, I don't judge. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. I, I my new favorite thing apparently is screwball. Oh yeah. And uh, the guy at the liquor store the other day said, "You better buy a case of this because it sells fast, and I'm going to be out of it." I'm like, "Well, people should stop buying what I like." Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. How's everybody doing? Yeah, Gary likes to put it in his coffee. So That's I'm what I'm sure saying. That's what he's having this morning. You really might not coffee know what I've got in my coffee oh. this morning. <laughs> so, how is everyone on this fine Saturday? We'll start with an announcement. Um, I'm sure that you guys, if you've been in the store or on the website, have seen uh, the information about our Maker Mania event that's coming up the last weekend of the month. Um, I just want to make a quick announcement. We only have two kits left. So if you were on the fence, you better, you better, better jump off decide. the fence and make a decision because Get on one side or the other. Yeah, there's only two kits left and when those are gone, that's it for this year. Um, I have a feeling that since this is two, that there will, you know, be a three um, next year, but yeah, we're already talking dates. Yeah, so uh, two kits left for Maker Mania. And again, that is the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the last week of January, what is like the 29th, 30th, and 31st, I think. Yep. Um, 18 stores are participating, and they'll be doing lives all weekend uh, with classes and tips and techniques and tricks and demos. Each store is doing at least two projects. Um, if you're already signed up and you're in the group you've seen some of the stores doing introductions kind of showing their their different stores and some of them are doing more than two projects um, and showing additional techniques and things like that so you will definitely be getting a lot of great inspiration um, from all of the people and um, some learning some awesome ways to um, use all of the product in your kits it is actually some great product. It's a Pink Fresh collection um, and some Sizzix stuff. So it is going to be a fun, fun weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Scrappy Chic will actually be um, doing theirs on Sunday towards the end of the day. Um, but we will obviously be participating um, all weekend and be on, popping on and in and all the lives. Um, so you'll be seeing Renee and I throughout the weekend. All right. So who's ready to see some new stuff? Give me some hearts. Katina, the, the kits are uh, $75 for uh, Maker Mania. I didn't let you guys see them. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so, should we talk about your virtual class again? Oh, yeah, we can. Um, we've got a our fourth, yeah, our fourth virtual class coming up. All the information is on um, our Facebook page. It is a Happy Heart Day card using Lawn Fawn, so a Valentine card. Um, kits and access to the Facebook page with virtual instruction are ten dollars. Um, kits actually are going to be ready tomorrow. I'm early. Um, but yeah, it's a super cute card. And actually, what I'm doing is I'm showing how, with especially with Lawn Fawn product, you can use. Um, product that was created let's say this in this case I'm using a stamp that was a Halloween stamp on the Valentine card so I just am kind of showing how you can mix and match things um, that the way that the companies are designing things doesn't mean that it's only going to be for Halloween you can uh, put that you know for other holidays as well so the class is the 23rd, 23rd I think it's a Saturday. Saturday at 11 um, live but uh, if you if you purchase the kit you'll always have access to the replay into the Facebook group for questions so um, as with any of our virtual classes that's how it works you get um, the link Renee sends you the link to request access to the Facebook page and then if I'm feeling nice, I let you in. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. See, this time I was smarter and I was copying you in the emails that I was sending them. So I don't yeah. have to keep saying, did so someone so buy a kit? Yeah, did message me so and be like, like, hey, someone so's asking to be in. Did they buy a kit? Oh, yep. So, yeah, it was going to be fun. And it is, a, it's a, using a slimline card and uh, Lawn Fawn slimline dies for Halloween. So, yeah, it's cute. Um, so we've got that. You can up. find that on our website or you can call the store to sign up. So, And then oh, just, yeah. a, just a hint, I'm working on a design for another um, virtual class. You guys may have seen the Lawn Fawn post about the, um, the camera die with the pull tab. Oh, so so I'm working on an interactive, um, something like that. So you'll be seeing another virtual class. I'm also going to start doing uh, demos again. So uh, I think what I'll probably do is tape them like we were doing when COVID first start, started and then just post them. Um, uh, the first one that I'm planning right now is with Dino Wakely gloss sprays. So be on the lookout for that coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Um, and then for all you stampers, I don't know if you follow Gina K or have seen um, on the interwebs where she had uh, a friend of hers, Chuck something, I, Chuck Fulman, I can't remember his name. Anyway, he designed a product for her. She's calling it the Chucky and uh, it's to use with your stamp platform. So if you're a stamper and you use a stamp platform, any stamp platform, doesn't have to just be the Misty, it can be the Tim Holtz stamp platform if you have one of those or any of the other stamp platforms that are out there. Um, it's a product that helps so that you're not using your hand or having to stand up and give some extra pressure. What it does is um, you rub it around the top of your stamp platform. You rub it around the top of the stamp platform and it gives even pressure. Well, we put together a scrappy chic version and we are calling it the stamping assistant. And you may have seen some peaks. Or a peak. I only did a peak because mm -hmm. Renee gets mad at me if I tell you guys too much too early. No, she Spoiler doesn't. Alert. She doesn't ever get mad at me. Um, anyway, I did two sizes. So here they are. These were custom designed to go with our Michigan product. So this is the the large stamping assistant, and I put our little Michigan confetti on the top. I've got there's right now. It's a limited quantity. I want to see if you guys love them like I do. I have this size because I have a large stamp platform, but I absolutely love the way that it fits in your hand so that you can, you don't do too, but <laughs> like, wow. give some nice really even cool. pressure. So um, this is, um, these are the large ones and they're 18. 
dollars and look these are the small ones if you've got the small stamp platforms again they are the scrappy sheet colors to match our paper they've got our um, Michigan confetti on them but um, the gray these are the only gray ones the rest of the ones that we have are this um, teal I never know if it's teal or turquoise I'm yeah, still I confused think, about that but go with teal. Yeah, so these the teal colors and the smaller ones are 15. So um, we have, like I said, very limited quantities right now because I want to see uh, if people love them as much as I do. Like I said, so um, there they are. They're what are really you helpful for your hands if you? Yeah, if you use a stamp platform, you know a lot of times you're pushing like this with your hand, so the bottom of your hand is you know getting rubbed on the plastic and sometimes it sticks or you're using your arm or you're standing up and giving some extra pressure so they actually do make a difference um it's been making the times that i have to stamp on the platform cut like in half like when i was making the kits for the happy heart day i only had to go one time because i was using my stamping assistant right and getting so you some didn't have pressure. to open it back up re-ink push it back yeah down. yep yep yeah. So what do you think? What do you think, everybody? Do you like them? I think Facebook is really um, bizarre right now. Do yeah. you see how many eyeballs it says we have? Yeah. We've never had 178 people in our live before, and that's literally what it says right now. Yeah, we do have that. <laughs> but we usually have like 30. I know. Or well, 50. Thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> yeah. If there are really 177 people, um, awesome. Welcome. Yeah, but you know, give me some hearts if you if you are liking uh, these. Um, I don't know. Renee will decide if she's going to put them up on the website because we do have limited quantities, but they will be in the store. They're available. This is one of my favorite new tools. Uh, thanks to Gina K for sharing the idea, and um, yeah, it it makes a huge difference. Yeah. So that is one of our new products. Custom made only for scrappy sheet people. Um, our next thing that we're going to talk about today, everybody, is the other new Michigan product that we have. Oh, I'm so excited. And I think you're going to love it. It coordinates with our new spring line. Renee's over here squealing, so I think she's excited for you guys to see it. Um, yeah, I, we've had it in the store for about a week, and we wanted to save it to um, share with you all today. It's been killing me all week, <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, yeah, she's been wanting to share it. She's, she was worse than I normally am this time, um, but um, here it is. We've got two new washi tapes to coordinate with our spring line, and one of them is a new size. Are you ready? It's pretty exciting. Da, 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 da. Here they are. They are awesome. I'm just waiting for, sorry, there's such a delay. I'm <laughs> waiting to see if I've even got them in screen and you can see them. Yeah, it's, I'm going to yeah, show you. Bringing them up higher is helpful. I am there's going to little, show you the plastic too. on some tags here. This is, um, this is, this one is a 30 millimeter, um, that is about an inch and a quarter. And this one is our standard size, which is 15 millimeter, um, which is about five eighths. So here's what they look like just on some tags. So you can see. Are you guys, is there, are you guys making comments and we just can't see them? I, I, I see, can't see them on my iPad. I can only see them on my phone. Yeah, I see it's thumbs weird. up and stuff and hearts, but I, I don't see anybody saying anything. Yeah, it was very strange. So, okay, so these are the new washies and they are available in the store. Renee will be putting them up on the website and I'm going to show you two projects that I did with them because these clouds make me so happy. And for those of you who uh, wanted to get our spring paper and didn't get a chance, it's coming back in this week. Is it gone already? Yeah. One of the sheets sold out in two days. Wow. You guys love that spring paper. Yeah. Me too. Oh, just a real quick before I show you the projects, we've got our original, uh, we've been out of stock of our original 
um, Michigan washi, it is back in stock. Okay, so just so you know, back in stock. All right, so I did two cards using the um, PhotoPlay A6 card base, which I think is my new favorite size card. The Slimline and the A6. So I did two cards. I did a card that is layered, has a lot of layers, and then I did a very uh, clean and simple card. So here's the first one. This one is also using the photo play uh, dies that coordinate with the A6 card base. Oh, I was doing a weird thing. Um, it's, I used our Michigan, original Michigan's um, stamp and die. And then these little uh, chipboard pieces are of course um wow, and we do have them in the, in the store. These clouds are from the collection that's got like the clouds and the rain mm -hmm. drops. So I just painted those with distress paint, which um, we are going to bring back into stock the distress paints that coordinate with all of our paper collections because um, they're awesome to paint the chipboard pieces. So, and then I used the Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter on the clouds. Isn't that awesome? It's so Gives cute. it some good sparkle. There's that one. And then this one, and oh, you can see the washi is on this tag right here. So the washi was used on the green on this one. And then I just took the card base on this card and I put a strip of washi and then used some of the chipboard pieces and put a little Michigan in the cloud to coordinate with the washi and of course some of the chunky glitter. So that is the new Michigan product. Do you guys love it? I wish I could see comments. Yes, we're getting great, love it. Susan loves the chunky glitter. All right, so those are our new Michigan things. Yay! And we are super, super excited about them. I'll these, get them up on the website soon. Yeah, these cards will be, of course, on display in our <laughs> our Michigan Project display case. <laughs> That's overflowing. Yes. All right. We also got some other product. Um, this is a blending brush that Nuvo came out with. The it, it's very similar to the pink fresh one. It's just in the Nuvo colors. So we do have some of these in stock if you love Nuvo product. And then for those of you who missed the um, the Hero Arts Shop Box uh, Hummingbird stamp and die, we did get some of those back in. So. Hurry, hurry, hurry yeah, in those for those. Literally, yeah. literally flew out of here. Yeah, those <laughs> birds flew right out. We also got a couple of the other dies that sold out very fast too. So if you were interested in some of the pieces from the Hero Arts shop box, we've got those back in stock. That's a good point, Tracy. We could have extra eyeballs from the Jen Shirkus class. People found us. Uh, it's not a, not a bad way to be found, is it? Yeah. All right, we got a new... Uh, 49 and market collection in. That's it's really pretty. Yeah, it's those, very the pretty. The colors on these papers are really pretty. We got the single sheets too, right? Yes. All right. So this is um, vintage artsy Wedgwood is what it's called. And these these distressed, this distressed, uh, it looks kind of like denim, but it's got very subtle leaf in there. Uh, the colors are beautiful. The blues, the rusts, butterflies, flowers. Um, it has got, this has got six double-sided papers, and then you get... And 49 to Market is one of the brands that have really thick yeah. paper. And also, these are, so. these are chipboard laser cut pieces, really? so, and this piece of lace here has all these little tiny pieces cut out, so it really does, um look like lace you can see through and see the paper in the background so there's that then there's of course the six by six and the ephemera which has some great journaling uh, pieces and some tags and tickets and things like that a doily so some really good pieces in the ephemera 
that is 49 in market and it's called again vintage artsy wedge wood Ooh, that's a mouthful it is we also is this what chapter is this one all right he's actually doing a live today too yeah showing his we have the chapter one thinlets in on time <laughs> so they're available for you. I'm, I didn't bring them all in. I just brought a variety, but the Sizzix Thinlets, these are all the, the Tim Holtz ones. And the new color eyes, they're, they're really, uh, really cute. So this one's called the Gent. So it's got the guy, two hats, and an umbrella. And then we've got this one I really like. It is called Funky Trees. And then um, this one is Funky Nature. If there's one called Funky Chicken, I'm going to die laughing. <laughs> that would be good. These flowers, though, are beautiful. Uh, brush stroke flowers, one. Look at how gorgeous with the layers of the pieces, make, mixing the colors. Isn't that gorgeous, the way that that, um, that works? And then this one I really like, too. It's called Funky Toadstools. Um, Karen Garvey, the um, individual sheets of the 49 and market are $1.29 a piece. And if you're asking about the collection pack, it's $14.99. Just like yeah, that. it is. And then um, an Easter, this is Carrot Bunny, which is super cute. Like I said, I didn't bring them all in. I'm just giving you a variety. But here are the, the color eyes. This is Harrison. And this has got a lot of it's heavy because that that lion is big mm. so there's some big pieces in this one with his mane it's gigantic um so it's nine dies but it the the lion base is all one piece you can see it in here so it's some heavy metal dies in that one and then there's oliver the bunny <laughs> his buck teeth and his crazy ears yeah so there's the, those are the color eyes, and then this is only one. I think there's three um, new L. This is alphanumeric stretch uppercase. So there are, I think, two other um, alpha thinlet die sets, and this is one of the um, new texture fades, and it is called Intertwine, like a basket weave. It reminds me of a summer chair, like I. I want to yeah, go yeah. sit on the patio in the sun. <laughs> so that's a variety of the Tim Holtz stuff. There are some other dyes, so come on in and see what we've got. And then we did get some of the um, the Sizzix designed by some of the other designers. This is a Valentine stamp and die framelits um, by Olivia... Is it Olivia Rose? Could be. It's called Love Hearts. Sometimes hard to read those designers' signatures. And then this is an Thank Easter you. one um, by Lisa Jones, stamp and die set. So it's a really great value. It's $12.99 for the stamp set and the dies, and you can make some great cards. And then just a couple of the, we've got some others, but just, just a little um, variety of some of the, the others, this is Georgia Evans. This is for a, a card base. It's the butterfly spinner card. So this makes a spinner card. And then we've got another by Olivia Rose and this is Hello Spring. So it's got some cute flowers and a little birdhouse with a bunny. So we've, there are some other ones, but those are just a, a little variety of those love hearts. Is that $12.99? The stamp and die, yeah, twelve ninety. Yep, twelve ninety nine for those set. Those stamp and die together, so great value, great value. And then the other new product we got in. Hold is, on, it's a whole big pile. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna spill it. Is the made with love, the doodle bug made with love, and um, of course we have all the twelve by twelve sheets. I didn't bring them in, but this is the sticker sheet. I love this collection. I, I'm very drawn to this mixer. I don't when I you know, see the, the, so cute, the doodle it? pops. This core this will coordinate with the lawn fawn baked with love mm -hmm. and uh, the other one that's got well let me show you. Hold on a second. This is the six by six 
It's got little chocolate chips. I know, they're really cute. So, the little chocolate chip enamels are really cute. Yeah, and I brought those. <laughs> so that's really cute. And then there is, there are two stamp sets. I just brought this one. Look, hey, cupcake. <laughs> so this has got the cookies and the cupcakes. Um, so it's a stamp and die set. And then you've got the, you've got the chit chat and the odds and ends. Look at them. Look at those, aren't they cute? The cupcake and the mixer and the, in the oven. Yeah, you get a lot of, 161 different die cut pieces yeah, in the odds and ends and 92 uh, pieces in the chit chat. So awesome. Uh, two washies, a heart and a little um, border. So those are really cute. And then the shape sprinkles. Look at these bitsy chips. <laughs> are you kidding me? They're so cute. And the cookies. Some of them have little bites out of them because I got hungry. <laughs> Gotta get breakfast. And look at these. These stickers and this paper would be perfect with that lawn fawn. Um, baked with love because you've got the mixer and the whisk and all that so the the shapes would coordinate perfectly but oh my god look at these doodle pops look at this yeah, and look super. at this I mean I just want to buy the doodle pops and hang them on the wall so cute milk and cookies Perfect for Valentine's Day, but not just Valentine's Day because, well. Yeah, you can bake any time, That's right. right. And, and usually when you're baking, you are baking with love. So look at the oven. I think this oven is in the doodlebug booth all the time when we go visit. Oh yeah, they actually The real that. one, yeah, it's part of their here. display. This one's got an egg and a cracked egg. That is so cute with flour and sugar and butter. So this is made with love and it is a, a very, 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 very cute um, collection. And really nowhere does it say Valentine's. So it's perfect for Valentine's because it's all about love, but uh, it could be anytime. Hello friend, wishing you a sprinkle of happiness. So it really is cute. Yeah, it's more longevity than just the Valentine's yeah. holiday. Of course, this yeah, there are a lot of doodle pops, Susan. Um, I don't know, probably eight or nine, maybe even more than that. Two, four, I brought them all. Six, eight, eight, yep, eight different ones. But I just want to point ones. out this border right here is not a strip, it actually is twirly, so it, it cut it only the shows the twirly. Yeah, that's really cute. Yep, I like that they don't put the white border on their stickers. Yeah. A yeah. lot. Goes, so. The color goes right to the edge. Yeah. That makes me very happy. Yeah. Very cute. I mean, I, I never say never because look what happened with me and Lawn Fawn, but, oh um, you know, Doodle Bug is super, 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 super cute, but I say that I wouldn't want, I would, it's not my style, but it could end up being my style because know, look what happened with me and the lawn I know, <laughs> I know. It's getting cuter and cuter. Oh, that would be really cute for a recipe book, especially if you had like cookie recipes or- Like a dessert cookbook yeah. or, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't necessarily be um, good for maybe like your meatloaf recipe, but. We can mix it in with your meatloaf <laughs> recipe. I mean, I It'd be really good for a dessert one. I don't mind a cookie on top of my meatloaf. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know. in case anybody wants to cook for me. Yeah, you could definitely do. Oh my gosh, you could make a really cute recipe book with that. And it would it would be such a good like keepsake for you to hand down to your kids. Like if you had all their favorite desserts and things, and um, yeah, but I can think of a lot of things that you can do with it. Yeah. It'd be really cute too if you cook with your grandkids or, or you know you bake cupcakes and they're playing with the frosting and a lot of baby showers too really or not cute. baby showers but wedding showers are asking for recipes now and um so that would be good to yeah make a card for your recipe for a bridal shower um yeah so there's a lot of things that you can do with this one 
So, oh, I also would like to say that we just restocked our supply of Copic markers. <laughs> I thought that I had all the colors that I needed. Much to Michelle's budget. Uh, and I haven't, I, I, yeah, I haven't even gone through all of the new colors we got in and I've got 28 markers pulled. So, just so you know, yeah, if you're... we got a lot of our Copics back in stock. It's the Chow, um, but I mix mine. Uh, my collection is a mix of Sketch and Chow because I use the um, the brush tip. Um, but, you know, Jen's been talking about changing out the chisel tip for the, for the fine. Uh -huh. And I might do that because slowly but surely because those tips are, you know, they're handmade. So... Um, they're, they're they're a little pricey, yeah. yeah, but they're qu such quality. But um, I forgot my point. Oh, I don't ever use the chisel. And, yeah. But anyway, we've got our uh, Copics. It, it's been a while because they've been so hard to find. So yeah, they well, obviously they come from overseas, right? Yeah, so a lot of that stuff was just not not moving yep so, so we've got some of the refills back in and um a lot of colors as you will see when i check out today with my new 28 colors i told renee now i have to get a bigger uh container for my copics because i'm doubling <laughs> the number <laughs> no i'm not doubling it but when you add when you add 30 um uh, I markers, your spots I already are, yeah. kind of already taken yeah the spots were pretty full yeah so, so. Um, can we answer any questions or can Renee answer any questions because I can't <laughs> see comments today Which is very it's frustrating. Annoying. I know yeah, it's very frustrating. Yeah, I think we've been kind of answering questions as we go shall, yeah, shall Can we anybody that popped in late do you want to see our awesome uh, custom Michigan stuff again because I'm excited to show it anybody Got a couple hearts. Yeah, so we've got our new um, the Michigan washi that coordinates with our spring line. All of our papers, Sue, so our, our perfect chow markers, sorry, to that's okay. you, Michelle, that's okay. are um, $5.99 a piece. Which is a really good price. Yeah, the sketch ones are bigger, so they they're a little they bit more market yeah for, I think seven, seven or eight ninety nine. Yeah. Depends on where you're going. Yeah, yeah. the prices so are we just carry the chows. Yeah. Um, all of our paper and washi all of our custom paper and washi and chipboard shapes are designed by dd katron um from umlaut studios so we've got this is a 30 millimeter washi with the clouds that matches our paper and this one is a 15 millimeter with the michigans and then we have our stamping assistants inspired by uh, Gina K's Chucky. So these are for use with your um, stamp, stamp platform. platform. Yep, to give you some nice even pressure for your stamping images. And they are painted in our scrappy chic colors, teal, and I've got a couple of grays with our Michigan chipboard right on top. These are um, painted and actually um, finished. So they have a matte, a matte varnish instead of a glossy varnish on them. And then the felt pad on the bottom so you don't scratch your stamp platform. Super cute. Any other questions we can answer? These are the two cards. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. These are the two cards that I put together with our new uh, cloud washi and our spring collection. So there you have it. So we will have... Um, the tape will go up on the um, on our website today. I don't think I'm gonna put the stamping assistance on the website because they we don't have yeah we a have a limited lot of quantity. So come on in if you want one of those, or even give us a call. We'll certainly sell it to you over the phone. I just um, don't want to be in a situation where they're online yeah. and we don't have them in the store then. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, like I mentioned, right now it's limited quantity, but if you guys are loving them, we will ha get them back in stock. Certainly. Not yeah. a problem. Um, it's a very quick turnaround because, well, I'm making them. So, <laughs> so um, yeah. So if we sell, like I said, I've got four uh, of the small and I also have a couple of the gray. Um, and we've got three of the large. So come on in, check them out. The weight is really nice. 
Uh, they're not too heavy, but they're not like light plastic. So the, the weight is really nice. Yeah, I agree. All right, guys. If you've got no more questions, I'm, I'm going to call it a day. We, uh, no, don't forget we've got two, two Maker Mania kits left. Oh, so, yeah, if you want that. Yeah. Like I said, if you Call were us. on the fence, you better jump off and get one because there's only two left. And that's that, The stamping assistant is, um, uh, you would use it with your, it's a tool to use with your stamping platform where you can rub, you get some even the, pressure so that you get a good stamped image so you're you're doing so you can press down on it and get some nice even pressure instead of having to use your hand like this where you rub your hand raw or I always stand up and I'm pushing yeah. down so yeah th like I was saying earlier this makes a huge difference um, when I was making the happy heart day kits last night I only had to do one pass on my stamp platform because I was using I have the large stamp platform so I use the big one but if you've got the small platform this is the perfect size or the yeah the small and any stamp platform it could be the misty it could be the Tim Holtz it could be any of the up uh, as we are has one and yeah right so any of the stamp platforms because it's got the the felt so it won't scratch your plastic All right, well, we'll be back. So thank you. Yeah. If, if yep. There really were 195 of you at one point in time. Thank you for joining yes. us today. We appreciate I'm you. I'm not really sure I trust those numbers, but I'll pretend that we're super popular this weekend. Yeah, we will I'll be back well. in two weeks. Um, of course, I'm hoping that I'll have some more uh, new custom Michigan product to show you in two weeks. Um, yeah, but we will also have of course, new Michigan projects to show and new product as it comes in. So um, I hope you guys are getting creative, spending your time in lockdown, making some stuff. Um, and don't forget again about Maker Media the last weekend of January. It's three days filled with live uh, demos and, and instruction and techniques. So, all right. We'll see you soon. Have Thanks a for joining awesome us. weekend. Bye, ladies. How do I stop this? Where am I?